Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today actually is the end of a kind of a surprising day. I didn't start this day off uh, with a video in mind, but uh, this day just turned into an epic day and it's actually a road trip in itself. So we can call this a road trip rendezvous. Um, so we started out, actually the, this today started off last night essentially. Uh, the McPherson College uh, Car Show is uh, is every year in McPherson, Kansas, an absolute phenomenal car show, world-class cars, you know, and they have some special stuff shipped in. Uh, look it up um, and definitely put it on your calendar. It's, I mean, Jay Leno has actually come to the show before. He sponsors the college. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, they actually, it's an automotive restoration department there at the college and, uh, and it's a really cool deal. So be sure to check out the McPherson uh, college, uh, uh, restoration program that they have. But, uh, so last night, so I, I talked to, to David and, uh, it's like, Hey, you want to go to this awesome car show? He'd never been. And, and David was like, uh, sure. You know, I kind of told him a little bit about it. So last night I went over to shift and I was driving the 930. So I went over to shift and uh, started cleaning up the uh, Alpine. I thought, you know what? I've never had the Alpine in a, in a show. And this show has a lot of European, a lot of, a lot of neat cars. You know, it's not your typical, you know, uh, domestic uh, driven type of show. Uh, a lot of foreign stuff, a lot of European. And so I thought, well, this would be kind of fun. And uh, so I decided to go ahead and enter the Alpine uh, in in the show. So I went and spent several hours cleaning it up last night. I think I was up till about 1 30 this morning. So uh, so actually it did start today. But uh, so uh, I met, uh, uh, so then Brian uh, from Epicenter Garage, we're gonna road trip up together and, and rendezvous. <laughs> so David uh, meets me over at shift this morning and uh, I'm driving the 930. So we clean the dust off the 930. David jumps in the, uh, and the uh, 9.30, I jump in the Alpine, and we head to McPherson. And I'm actually in the Alpine right now, and uh, I'm just kind of sitting here, but uh, maybe we'll go ahead and, and, and get this thing rolling while we talk. But also, too, I never really talk about it. Um, um, you know, one thing I really appreciate, if you like and subscribe to the channel, if you like, you know, sharing these adventures, road trip uh, rendezvous, and, and then the, uh, our special car overviews and everything. But uh, also, we do, I do have a shirt, <laughs> a shirt, Eurovision Bob, traction control off. You know, that's kind of my motto, you know, it's like, the, I don't like nannies. And uh, first thing I do in any modern cars, I turn the traction control and all that stuff off because I like to drive the car. So uh, there's a link in the description uh, to the Threadbear and he does uh, Fenwickies and Hoobies, all their shirts and everything. So I actually have two new shirts coming. And uh, so I got some more merchandise coming. And so I guess I'm just doing a little plug for myself, but you know, it's not really, you know, uh, about money. It's just about sharing, you know, just sharing sharing some fun stuff and something cool to, to sport. But, so this is my, my first and only shirt at the moment, but we got some more fun stuff coming. So check out that link in the description. I'll go ahead and strap into the Alpine here and uh, just tell you about this day. Um, what I'll do, like I said, I didn't start off. There was no video at the beginning of the day. Um, I was just taking some pictures. And uh, so, let me get pulled out of the traffic here. We might as well have a little, little fun soundtrack here while we're driving. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we're just driving along and chatting. But um, so like I said, so we uh, hit the road and we meet uh, meet up with Brian on the road and, and we road trip it uh, to, to McPherson and, and just kind of cruising along and, and uh, me and David are just kind of taking some pictures and passing each other and doing that fun stuff. But so then we get to the uh, McPherson College Car Show and, and we get there, boy, kind of just in time. I mean, the show starts at nine and it, it was, Full, like almost capacity like 400 maybe in 50 cars or something like that and uh pretty amazing you know it's a, the show is i go there every year i mean i if, in very few times do i miss it unless i have something that i can't get out of but uh, it's on my it's basically my favorite car show of the year so we had the alpine i thought let's go ahead and enter it took the 9 30 also and so we get the cars there get them staged and do your uh, obligatory you know take pictures of your car at the car show kind of thing so um so we got the cars lined up and walking around and then you know just kind of uh going around and looking uh, you know so getting kind of ready to show or whatever and get the cards up in them and and uh, so then just you know walk around and check out some of the cars and i mean 
you know, kind of focusing on getting your own car ready. But then I start walking around and I'm like, holy cow, there's a Ferrari F40, a Porsche 959, a Bugatti EB10. I mean, I'm like, these are like, like my Uber poster. I mean, these are like the, the, you know, unobtainium cars, you know? I mean, you know, a lot of the cars, you know, you, you know, are your poster car. You know, like the 930 is a poster car for me, but it's, it's not like a 959 or an, or an F40 where I mean, it's like, you know, there's, it's never, you know, that car is never going to be in reach, you know? And uh, so I was just blown away. So walking around and uh, oh, what I'll do here is uh, I'll put up there was uh, show uh, concept cars and, and uh, pre-war, post-war, uh, man, it was a um, uh, toggle, um, Tabo Lago uh, French car. Um, and then I'll go ahead. What I did is I just walked around and I just took a pictures of just the cars that kind of caught my interest. Like, hey, these are just something that like that I liked and everything. And so I took uh, pictures of the cars and uh, I'll show you a little, uh, a little montage here of, the, of my favorite cars of the show. So like I said, those are some that just, you know, they just uh, are cool to me. And uh, so, you know, I had a great time, got had some food and uh, and so we're all camping out. It's funny because me and Brian and, uh, and our buddy Ben and David and um, uh, a gentleman named Bob, who's a who's a cool collector car guy too. And he's actually, Bob's actually the one that, uh, that bought uh, our Torino. So uh, we're all just kind of hanging out with uh, Brian's son, Hayes and, and just just kind of chilling and having a good time and uh they're calling cars you know like hey the winners of your class you know stage you know for uh you know basically they they draw a whole crowd and they have a a stage and bleachers and everything and so the winners of each class and there's just one winner uh of each class and uh category and so we're all sitting in the shade just having a good time chilling out you know and they're kind of like saying hey you know get your get your cars up here get your cars up here and and uh when we entered you know i i looked at the, i didn't know what the categories were and then when i kind of looked it was like foreign car like 71 to 89 and that yeah that was one category and i'm kind of going wow that that's a big category there's a lot of really nice cars here a lot of cool cars you know and i'm like yeah the, the renault it, it, i love this car i love this car it is special uh, it's super special to me, it, uh, but it's a special car regardless. I mean, just the condition of the car, the rarity of the car, you know, um, you know, there's not a lot of significance as far as like racing or any that pedigree, but I mean, it did set the world, you know, coefficient uh, 
the world record for lowest coefficient drag of a production car. And that was their kind of one of their targets with this car. So, and it did that. So, you know, it's got some cool history. And uh, so, you know, it's fun to talk to people that are coming up and, you know, and uh, um, asking about the car. I really had a good time. You know, there were some people I was surprised how much they actually knew about the car. And then some, there's some people, it's just funny, it's like, wow, I can't tell you how many times I, I just, you know, it's fun kind of standing back being a fly on the wall and how many times uh, people like, uh, you know, that's, uh, yeah, that thing looks like a spaceship, you know? I just, people come around the corner and I just got that so many times, it's kind of so funny. And uh, anyway, just had a good time. So me and Brian and the gang and David, were all just chilling out, uh, uh, hanging out. And, uh, and I thought, I, I don't know if uh, Brian or David said, said, you know, you might check your car, you know? And I'm like, oh, I, I guess I didn't think about it. I'm like, I'm like, oh, you know, I guess I should go. I got two cars. I got the 930 in the, in the show and, uh, and the Alpine. And so I'm like, okay. So I just walk over to where the cars are. We're not very far. We're not very far away. They're sitting in underneath a tree in some shade. And, and I'm, I'm walking up to the Alpine and I see a, a blue ribbon on the windshield and I'm like, what you know maybe like it's i think because i don't know the, the structure i'm like oh maybe it got an honorable mention or maybe it got something or whatever and i come up and i look at the windshield and it's like best in first place best in class and i'm like holy cow and then the the organizer uh the actual organizer of the show is standing there by the car and he's like hey oh you're the owner of the car and i'm like yeah and he's like hey we need to get it up uh uh in staged you know and i'm like he's like you know follow me i'll show you where to go and i'm like wow and so i Tell David I grab my phone. And say, hey, David here. Take some pictures and video, and and uh, so he takes some cool video of me driving up to the stage and pictures of the car and and uh, and all that stuff. So it's uh, you know it's kind of surreal. I was just kind of honestly kind of shocked, but really, I mean, you know, I'm honored. You know, I, I that the quality of that show and the people and the organization is fantastic. And and uh, I've never shown the Alpine before. The last time it 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 was shown, it was shown in. 1991 in Canada and it won in Canada it's kind of cool this little plaque here I, I got with the car and uh, so I just keep that in the car it's just a neat little piece of history on the car and then uh, so I'm just like wow and, and literally go through and boom you know you it's really cool you drive through they hand you your award in the car in the in the car the crowds there applauding and stuff and I was like well this was just a a, a fun surprise. I didn't expect it, you know, honestly, I didn't expect it. I mean, I thought, well, I thought there was a chance and then, you know, I kind of saw the categories and I'm like, well, I mean, geez, I mean, I guess technically the, you know, they, maybe they probably, they probably weren't, I'm guessing maybe weren't entered in the, in the uh, judging, but you know, the 959, the F40, I mean, this, they're in the same class. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't put this car at, at those levels, but it's definitely, you know, people have probably seen more F40s than they've seen probably uh, uh, Renault Alpine Atmos. <laughs> so this is, you know, if they're looking for something unique. But uh, but yeah, so just so much fun. And, and uh, so then, you know, we, we uh, cleared out of the show afterwards and uh, everybody took off and went to Brahms and got some refreshments. It's about, it was a 90 some degree day today. So it was a, like one of the first hot days. So we're uh, uh, just cruising and there's a uh, car show in Newton uh, at home of uh, the car wizard, David Omega. And he actually uh, entered his uh, SLR in the car show in Newton. So that was cool. He got that SLR uh, Cadillac, uh, I'm sorry, XLR, the Cadillac Roadster from us. And uh, so he put that in Newton car show. So we hit the Newton car show on the way back and uh, it's kind of the tail end of it. I think they were just kind of giving some awards you know, because we were at the McPherson one a little bit longer. And then, uh, and then there's a place in Newton, it's a, a German buffet called, and it's called a place called the Bread Basket. So I told David, I said, hey, you want some, uh, you know, a unique dinner that you've never had before? And David's always game for food he hasn't tried. So we go over to the Bread Basket and, uh, and hit the German buffet and, and uh, it just, you know, had an awesome time and then just road tripped him back to the shop. I'm in the Alpine right now. Uh, headed back over to shift and uh, gonna go park it back in its little happy uh, happy hole and give it a little pat on the roof <laughs> and tuck it away we'll come back in and spray the bugs and dust off of it but uh, yeah this like I said this this day I didn't you know 
I, I mostly, you know, keep, you know, my videos just really just to some of the shorts, I'll do some funny things on the shorts, but my main videos, I just mostly keep them to car overviews and road trip rendezvous, you know, but I'm like, well, actually, this is kind of a road trip rendezvous. We uh, <laughs> rendezvoused with friends and went to a car show. So, um, I, you know, I, it just, so this is a, I don't know, maybe a little bit uh, Olive and Wiki style here with me standing in front of, uh, or sitting in front of the camera, just telling a story. But I just had a good time and thought I would share it with you guys and then sharing those, some of the pictures and video clips of the day. It was just a lot of fun. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I, me and David, all of us, really just had a fantastic time and so appreciate you guys uh hanging out and uh, riding along and um you know as, as always you know like and subscribe if you would if you like some of the stuff that we do and uh hit that notifications button but uh as always have a great day and happy motoring well we got him tucked in it looks like we got a little party going on over here so <laughs> Everybody's having a good time today. All right, good little boy.